now is the best part of the afternoon. We are going to recognize the six individuals who seem to have somewhat of an outstanding achievement in their transition to their professions in Ontario. And I was one of the panel members that had the privilege to select the six uh, internationally trained engineers for this award. So just to recap, the awards recognize six internationally trained engineers for their achievements in engineering and their contributions to Ontario. We received about 26 nominations and it was uh, quite difficult to pick the six uh, uh, individuals that will receive the award today. So I'd like to just do a round of applause for the, all of the nominations. So as we read all of these applications, I think one of the, the common themes we continually came across um, all of the applicants was this unwavering commitment to the profession of engineering uh, despite some of the barriers uh, both systemic and cultural that they faced and so um, it, it was it was quite overwhelming to actually read some of the stories and some of the struggles that these individuals went through so without further delay I'd actually like to talk a little bit about the winners first I would like to acknowledge Albana Rorkova a native of Bulgaria with specializations in geology, mining, environmental engineering, she joined the PAIE program for environmental engineers with the Toronto Region and Conservation Authority. Besides a stint working in, the, in a mining project with First Nations communities and an internship with the Ontario government, what really impressed us was Albana's commitment to her community. Her remarkable efforts to give back include the following. She mentored a York University graduate on a special project. He, get, he went on to achieve a master's in engineering. She designed a pilot project on sustainable waste management. And most noteworthy, she assisted in the development of a new environmental management program at Seneca College, which is running today. Let's welcome to the stage Albana Burkova. I'd now like to introduce Khalid Ibrahim, a native of Sudan with a background in architecture and spatial planning. Khalid realized he needed to upgrade his skills when he arrived to Canada in order to land a professional job. He was accepted into Humber's Engineering Software Skills Enhancement Program and he was its sole architecture candidate that year. Being resourceful, Khalid took advantage of some opportunities that presented itself at Humber College. And as a recruiter and as a human resources professional, I really liked the story. So uh, he attended a career fair that was meant for all of the diploma students that don't have a lot of work experience, but he realized that this might be a great networking opportunity. And so he did some research and figured out who was going to be at the event and he, he ended up attending. Well, he wowed one of the recruiters at an organization called Memar and he ended up getting a position as an architectural technologist and through some perseverance he also finished the program at Humber working 40 hour weeks at Memar and also continuing his studies at Humber College. The employer quickly realized his contributions and he's been appointed in his current role as executive manager at Memar. So let's call Khalid up to the stage. And I told, I think I did read the right profile for Khalid. So. Yeah. Thank you. Rajbir set himself uh, apart from the other applicants in that he's actually helped to foster some job creation through entrepreneurship. So Rajbir is the founder of the Metro Electrical uh, Inc. and he is also a part-time instructor at Sheridan College. He left a 16-year career uh, in engineering uh, in India and arrived to Canada about 12 years ago. And after three years of odd jobs, he capitalized on an opportunity to obtain his Red Seal license in electrical engineering. And he successfully worked in that industry until he was downsized out of a job after six years of employment. And faced with the prospect of yet again being unemployed, he decided to take the CNM electrical exam uh, through the Skills for Change Trades Win Support Program. Let's fast forward to 2010, and now Rajbir owns and operates his own business with 10 employees, and his contributions extend to participating in talk radio shows to increase awareness about the rules and regulations set by the Electrical Safety Authority, and he also continues to mentor other internationally trained engineers. Lanny? 
Annie is employed with the Regional Municipality of York as an industrial treatment engineer through the Toronto and Region Conservation Authority PIE program. She completed her Master of Science in Chemical Engineering in the Philippines with eight years of experience. When she arrived here in 2008 with high hopes of finding employment, she quickly realized that she would have to accept interim program, interim jobs uh, in order to make ends meet. She accepted opportunities with placement programs and did some four-week engineering uh, uh, placements and also joined Toastmasters to improve her public speaking skills. Currently, she has a role with York Region and she helps industries identify and source their wastewater and how they should collect, handle, treat uh, wastewater in order to comply with Canadian regulations. She also continues to work with other ITE professionals to assist them with their efforts in landing professional work. Let's call Lanny to the stage. Indonesia, TJ graduated with a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. He also completed an MBA within the UK. TJ was so excited about coming to Canada that he learned uh, French in his uh, native Indonesia, thinking that it would help him land a job in Canada. And his long-term goal was to learn official languages and, and land a job uh, speaking both French and English in, uh, in Canada. So he also went to Humber College and enrolled in the Engineering Software Skills Enhancement Program. And through some of that experience, uh, he has landed a professional role uh, at Merson Solutions. And TJ is working on strategy for small wind turbine firms to generate power with rotating LED billboards. So can we call TJ to Thank you. I think the entire panel was quite moved when Ashok, uh, when we read about Ashok. He had a high profile position within the renewable energy sector in India, but like many immigrants, he found it very difficult to secure a professional role in Canada. While he lived in London, Ontario, he enrolled in an evening job search and workplace culture training that was offered again by Toronto Regional and Conservation Authority. And so he would travel the, the two and a half hour distance from London to Toronto for this program and then he'd travel back to London in the evening. So it was quite, quite remarkable and he decided to leave his family for a very short period of time so he can fulfill the training because the commute was getting uh, to be quite, uh, quite difficult for him. So his unwavering commitment to secure a professional job really paid off. Um, he's today an operations manager with Siemens in their wind power division and he uses this opportunity to introduce some of the pioneering best practices that he had developed in India uh, to our country here. Congratulations. Thanks.